So we learned a lot about 5G and what it's capable of today, but I wanted to ask you what 5G has in store for broader IoT use cases specifically. Well, with release 15 and 16, 5GNR has established a future-proof framework that serves millions of mobile broadband devices. With release 17, 3GPP is introducing a new set of devices called NR Lite, also known as RedCap, to address a different set of use cases in the IoT domain by scaling down the 5G bandwidth from 100 megahertz to 20 megahertz support in the sub-7 gigahertz bands and reducing the, the number of antenna support and some other simplifications to better address the needs of these uh, IoT use cases. Okay, great. And how does 5G NR Lite, which you mentioned, in what use cases is it more efficient than EMBB devices? So uh, when we talk about the IoT use cases we're addressing with the NR Lite uh, devices, it's the security cameras, uh, intelligent sensors, the devices that don't require the, the large amount of uh, data throughput that EMBB devices need, but they still have reasonable throughput and latency requirements to be able to be best serve the use cases. So NR Lite is basically filling in that gap uh, in terms of uh, these wide range of device support. All right, so looking ahead a little bit, what's next for 5G NR Lite? Beyond release 17, we expect NR Lite to scale down to even smaller bandwidths and add additional feature support such as sidelink and positioning to widen the array of use cases it is addressing. And through sidelink, we expect to see expanded coverage and uh, better scalability through a mesh architecture with a single point of wide area connectivity supporting a large number of sensor devices. So there's more exciting stuff to come to uh, better support IoT through this flexible 5G technology. Yeah, it really sounds like it. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time.